So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want the theme song shortened? So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Occasional for edge and enter entertainment purpose. Hey one Martha here, so we got my last Cinderella movie I have to review. And after watching all the mold roll, happy to move on to something else. Because there is this thing is way too much. <laughs> but I did it for you guys since you guys came up to 330 subscribers. Um, remember, you want me to do um, Dumbo's stuff or anybody else, you have to get me up to 400. Otherwise, I pick, I'm pick. i going to go back to doing um, this movies I haven't seen yet. Or I haven't seen it in a while. Guys, thinking for like in preparation, I might start watching the Hunger Games. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna do next week. But give me the 400, and I'll start doing the two Dumbo movies, which I'm happy to not uh, not that many as the Cinderella movies, <laughs> which mostly only one oh, out of all these movies. Only one of them is the ones I really can uh, rather not watch because there's this. It's me. It makes sense why this show, this movie has not. They're not. Is this meant to make be made into a TV show? A lot of these ones where they made made them into like three um, little shorts and then put them into a movie is they started out as a TV show. Like they did that for. Um, they were gonna have one. They have a TV show for Beauty and the Beast. Atlantis, Cinderella, and kind of for Tarzan, but Tarzan didn't. Tarzan did have a show because I remember watching when I was a kid. Though I don't know what happened to it because I don't know why. Because I never seen ever seen like a theme song of it, so I don't know why they have like a movie where it has them where we watch three shorts. But yeah, what? So this is one. Where they had three shorts already made, or, or three episodes, and they decided to uh, make it into a movie because might as well since they don't ha have since they have these shorts already made, might as well release them. And they find out this is not gonna make gonna be um relevant for a mo for a show because what's the plot gonna be? Every single time um one of the characters have a problem, and that's all they can think of really. So. Let's talk about the three plots and why it's fine for what it is. It's not, I if I rather watch any of these movies, these three um, animated movies, I'm, I'd probably watch the first one, then either, then the third one and this one. But this one is fine for what it is. It's just the 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 fairy godmother and the mice telling stories to each other about events they already um have. So they already know these stories, okay? So they don't really tell anything different because of all of them are things that they witness and they're telling to each other. It's kind of like one of those episodes of um. Of shows where they retell things that they already know, and they're just re um, reliving them. So yeah. So I think only time you should do this is when it's somebody who wasn't there, but all of them were there. So yeah. The first one has to do with um, Cinderella's first day. Of being the princess, I guess her first day, uh, her honeymoon does not count. 
So, and she has to pin land another, they find another ball or something like that. And she's not only allowed to invite dukes and stuff like that, but she wants to invite her her friends, all the subjects, to the, the thing. And she just wants to wear right wear her dress and do things her way, while the um the th main princess in waiting, and the, the the main um lady in waiting wants to do it her way and have stupid puns, prunes for dinner, or dessert, and so like that. So, they make it, and, um, the king and the prince are not there, which will they really be, would have been good ha make the prince have more development than he got in the first movie. No, you make him go away. And, it's still, um, Eric from, from Little Mermaid playing him. It's the same exact people that played her, played all these characters in the second, in the third movie. That's why they had them return for the third movie. Because, um, yeah, this one was made before. This, movie, this one came out in 2002. Can't believe it's already that old. And, it's already tw 22 years old. <sighs> Hold on. And she may so, and she does it her way, and opens up the curtain. See, that wants a plot there. That's why this one definitely, if any of them needs that actually was warrant for a short, it's probably the last one. And then we have the jock one. Where Jock has to learn how learn to accept for what he is that he's a mouse and he's useful to Cinderella because he stops uh, an elephant from killing the king and wrecking the fair when he actually caused it because he landed on top of it trying to get away from a lady that he didn't like and trying to get away from a, a cat who's trying to eat a person. How does that work? Because the cat saw him turn into a human because he was tired of being small and not being useful. Because a couple times he scared the girl that actually likes him as a human. And Cinderella doesn't notice him when she asks him to um, come and help at the fair. So yeah. And, she, and also he messes up getting flowers. So it just shows you that he's... Still, he's good as the way he is, I guess. The last one, I think, is only one that really need to be told. Because all of us are not able to get a guy to charm us. So having um, Anastasia, who is not exactly as good looking as Cinderella. Having a hard time getting um, the baker to like her. And look good for him. It's like that is good. And telling Tremaine, his, her mom, off for once. Say, I'm going to go with him, whether you like it or not, Tremaine. And good for Anastasia. Yeah. I'm proud of her. And I like the fact that she has a hard time smiling. A lot of girls have a lot of time smiling. And so... It's very, very, it's very, very sweet that even though that Cinderella was treated badly by Anastasia, it was not really Anastasia's fault. Or, or it's Rosella's. Her mom coats when it, their mom coats them into doing it. They didn't really care about those um things that because they were in a formal way. But if if um. Tremaine did not point out that she was wearing their stuff. They would have not ripped up her dress. They still did something wrong by ripping up her dress, but it wasn't their fault. That was how they were raised. And so she eventually, those, she learned to appreciate her stepsister. Because her stepsister was actually there for her and helped her be like her wing lady and help her get, help her get a guy. So yeah... 
and and let and let her stand up to help her stand up to her mom. So yeah, and I was the only one I think out of all the three of them that's probably the best because I'm hearing somebody tell Terrain off is good. So yeah. And also getting to see um, Lucifer dressed up as a uh, dress pretty nicely is really good. It's pretty cute too. Even though I really think that the cat's name Pom Pom does not sound as threatening as Lucifer. If he's supposed, she's supposed to be a female Lucifer. Make her make her name as uh, menacing as Lucifer is, because he's named after the devil. Make her name be just as menacing. I don't know. Like, um, uh, hold on. I, I, if I can think of Lilith, do Lilith. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, do that one. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt they would actually do it, but they did lose it for why not? But Paul Pomp, this sounds not as men. This doesn't sound scary as and. So, I guess because since she's really a, a, a cat that lives at the palace, it's not going to sound as menacing. <laughs> and they're not, she's not really um, the bad guy's cat. She just happens to want mice, so I guess not. doesn't really matter. So, I'll probably give this one, like, only one of them is worth watching. So, I'm probably going to give this one, like, a 6 out of 10. All the, all the other ones are kind of, the other two are kind of boring for me, but the last one is worth watching just to show the spite to um, Tremaine. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll see you guys late. So let's talk about um, the actor since I already t mentioned it before people who didn't watch the last one. We got Jennifer Hill who played Cinderella. We got Terry... Teresa um, Magnella, who played Anastasia, and um, Ro Walt Pullman plays Jack, and the Grand Duke, and I already said who played the Prince. So yeah, that's and Ruby Taylor who plays the the Fairy Godmother. So hope you guys, if you guys want to go watch it with your kids. Keep them entertained for a little if you have kids, unlike myself. But I'm gonna go back to playing my game for the rest of this week. I do have one more book. I can. I still almost done reading. Um, Mark. Listening to Mark Athena. So expect that soon. Or if I decide to put that one up first, we'll see. So see you guys later. Like, favorite, and subscribe. And bye bye.